I'm Ann Derwin. I'm the lead faculty for the Pediatric Nurse Practitioner and Primary Care Program, and I'm also the lead for the brand new Pediatric Mental Health Program that we have started in the past year. So the wonderful thing about our program is that there's a tremendous need across the nation and demand for services, pediatric behavioral mental health care. Uh, there's long wait times. There's many families who have been very concerned and desire the support and just help understand what's going on with their, the, with their kids. This is the place where our students are going to shine. They're going to be able to use standardized tools to do the assessments, they're going to help make a diagnosis, they're going to be able to provide support to the children and the families, and they're going to ensure follow-up care. That's beautiful. That's actually the answer to many of our needs. Well, the beauty of our program is that it's going to prepare the advanced practice nurses to provide the services that are in tremendous need. There's long wait times, there's many families that are, have been waiting for referral and, and healthcare access. Our students are going to be prepared to deliver that. It's gonna fill the gap and meet many of the need across the nation. Following graduation from our program, there is a certification exam that our students would be eligible to take, a pediatric behavioral mental health specialist exam. Our program fulfills the components required for the exam in terms of the didactic preparation. Um, it gets them started on their clinical hours in a pediatric behavioral mental health setting. The certification exam actually requires a minimum of 2,000 hours. Our students won't complete that while they're here, but they'll have a starting place for that and they can use the certification exam as their goal as they go out into practice. One of the great advantages of the Pediatric Behavioral Mental Health Specialty courses that we offer is that they're distance-based. So students could literally be anywhere in the nation and as long as they have an internet access could log into the learning platform here and do graduate studies and take the courses. Um, we also can arrange through our clinical placement office some uh, hours in clinical settings that were, are within the location where students live. So we've adapted that program uh, in that style of learning for all of our graduate studies in the master's programs, and that's been an advantage that we built our program on as well. Learners could be anywhere in the United States as long as they have access in LEARN. The two didactic courses that they take first uh, the Behavioral Mental Health 1 and Behavioral Mental Health 2 do not have an on-campus component. So students literally can get all of their didactic work completed from the comfort of their home. And I think that that is a huge advantage to be able to populate more and more pediatric behavioral mental health specialists across the nation and help to fill the gap and the tremendous need for the patients across the nation. Our third course does have an on-campus component. Uh, we call it an on-campus intensive here, or OCI is how it's abbreviated. And that is an opportunity to come here to Duke. It's, it's lovely because students actually feel like they are Duke students when they're here on campus. Uh, the opportunities that happen during that OCI experience are things like working with standardized patients, uh, interacting with experts in the field, certainly uh, communicating and collaborating with your peers that are also in the specialty setting. It's a, actually a very exciting and joyous time that many of our learners have because they actually are meeting face-to-face -face with folks that they've been learning didactically with uh, through the virtual platform. So it's an actual sort of celebration and fun opportunity to be here on the Duke campus in that third and final course. Um, so this specialty program is really going to provide learners with the opportunity to gain skills, competency, and confidence in providing behavioral mental health in a variety of settings. This could be in primary care, it certainly could be for children who have chronic conditions, it could be in school-based health, community health centers. Um, this, the need is everywhere. The need is everywhere across the nation. We know that from the one in five kids that have some kind of concern. And this is going to fill the gap, provide access to care, uh, hopefully reduce long wait times, 
our learners are still going to rely on the expertise of psych mental health NPs and providers in the future. They're not going to be all encompassing for every complex or uh, difficult behavioral mental health condition, but they are going to be equipped to screen, to, to provide anticipatory guidance, uh, definitely to assist with diagnosis and to provide support to children and family as they go through the developmental stages uh, in childhood. And that in and of itself is invaluable. Uh, they definitely are going to have the confidence to also start some of the baseline uh, pharmaco pharmacologic agents that may or may not be uh, called for depending on the diagnosis and they're going to have the confidence to do that. 